What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to get access to the free to play Halo Infinite multiplayer. It's super simple. Why so early? Well, in Microsoft's blog, they said this here. As a thanks for 20 years, they've launched the free to play Halo Infinite multiplayer beta three weeks early for Windows PC, Xbox, and Xbox Cloud later on Monday. All of the progress from this carries over into the full Halo Infinite launch on December 8th. So there's quite a bit to unpack here. How do we go ahead and download the game? Well, there's multiple ways of doing so. If you have the Xbox Game Pass, you can head across to this big banner up here for Halo Infinite here. If you're on the product page, you can simply choose Halo Infinite instead of Halo Infinite Campaign and get it for free or install included with Xbox Game Pass. If you're a Steam user, simply head across to the store and find the banner here or of course search for Halo Infinite. When you find it, click on the game itself, it'll open up like this, and all you have to do is click play game next to the free to play text here. I'll click play game here, and after choosing where to install it, it's a short download. The install size is 26 gigs, and the download itself is around 26 gigabytes as well. This will of course take some time depending on your internet speed. However, being free to play, at least tons of people will download this, and there'll be lots to play with. So just wait for this to complete. And there we go, now the game is downloaded, you can go ahead and fire it up. Then you'll be asked to sign in with Xbox. Don't worry if you don't actually own one, all you have to do is sign in with a Microsoft account that you'd like the game data to be synced with. After doing so, you'll be dropped into the main menu. There we have it. Now of course from here on out, it's playing the game as per usual. If you'd like, I'd highly recommend checking the description down below, especially if you're watching this a day or two after actual launch itself, as I'll be covering a full optimization guide so that you can get the absolute best performance out of the game. And on top of this, if there's any issues, I'll likely have a huge number of fixes coming out for this game in particular to help you actually play. But regardless, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.